Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. We are at a, we're on the road today. We are at a comic convention here in uh, what used to be some kind of a tomb. I guess it's been cleaned out, repurposed, turned into a convention center. Holy swanky little place here. Let me uh, go ahead and get here. Let me get back into, uh, oops, back into uh, survival. Oops. Let's try that again. Okay. So, um, Anyway, we're here. I got there's uh, some uh, other convention goers here. Here's uh, an artist selling some prints. Oh, apparently, he's doing some commissions. Oh, he brought his brought his little one with him. That's adorable. Let's see. Uh, art supply store is here selling their stuff. I guess this guy's selling cosplay goodies. Oh, familiar set of glasses there. Here's a guy selling some uh, some independent music here. Oh, of course, you can't have a con without one of these guys. The, uh, the sword vendor. Oh, yeah. Can I, can I turn? No. Okay. I, I won't. I'll leave it alone. And, of course, uh, somebody selling comic books. Sonic the Hedgehog. Superman. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, first issue. I'm gonna have to come back for that. Uh, the problem with conventions. Oh, the LARP room? Appears to be kind of empty right now. Uh, earlier, there were some, uh, witches and zombies in there beating each other up. I'm not sure what happened with that. Oh, he's, uh, he's getting a soda. Okay, so the reason why we're at a con this week and in cooking with Sarah is uh, one of the problems with comic conventions is you go to these things and then eventually you get hungry, you get thirsty, and you find the, uh, the vending machine and by the time you get to it, there's, there's nothing left except the, the yucky stuff. And uh, yeah, it's not cheap either. So you walk around, you walk around, you walk around, and you fight your way over to the food court, wherever that happens to be. Oh, let me just uh, lose that waypoint there. We don't need that anymore. And, uh, oh, that, sir, your costume is amazing. Let me just uh, take a... Well, not you, but I'm sure you can stay in the picture, too. Thank you. Yep. It's a it's a good idea to ask people for for, for a permission before you take their picture. It's just just a oh, it's another little little uh, rock and roll guy, <laughs> cute. So anyway, when you finally do find the food court or anything resembling it, um, yeah, you get uh, your greasy junk food over here, and it ain't cheap. They're proud of it. Uh, seven bucks for a slice of pizza. Eight bucks for some chicken fingers, a pretzel for five bucks, I mean, a burger. Oh my God! Don't even ask how much the. It's not on the menu. Um, I guess that uh, the rule: if you have to ask, you probably can't afford it. That probably is in play here. And God forbid you're vegetarian or vegan or you just want something a little healthier because if they do have it, uh huh, yeah. So how do you how do you not starve to death at a convention? Well, there are a few ways you can deal with this. Uh, trash can. Okay. First of all, for your uh, your beverage, bring your own water bottle, and you should be doing this anyway. You shouldn't be buying bottled water. It's better for the environment. It's cheaper. Just go to the water fountain, fill it up, and uh, hydrate at at no charge. Another thing you can do if you're staying in a hotel. A lot of the hotels will have a uh, free quote-unquote breakfast. Some of them are more breakfasty than others. Sometimes you actually get a waffle machine. Sometimes there's just a bowl of Otis Donut, or uh, what's his name? Uh, the Otis guy's muffins sitting out in the lobby there. But anyway, if they have packaged food, if they have bananas or other fruit, you can uh, just kind of stuff a couple of those in your pockets. I mean, you paid for it with the hotel room for crying out loud. You might as well get your money's worth. No, sir, you cannot have this. This is mine. Ugh. I'm just going to sneak out here. Now, uh, just a word of warning. Some cons do not like you to bring outside food. Okay, uh, sir, you're getting a little crazy there. Let me just, uh, yeah. Some cons don't like you to bring outside food in, so be cool about this. Um, generally, if you have a table, if you have a booth, they'll be a little more forgiving because they understand you need to be at your table or your booth or whatever. But anyway, uh, just uh, you know, bring bring the muffin, bring the banana from the Continental Breakfast. Uh, other things you can do, get things like uh, cereal bars, granola bars, things that you can put in your pocket, things that travel well. 
things that will not make a mess and things that are fairly filling and nutritious. Also, uh, your nuts, your roasted peanuts, and your trail mix are good to bring, and you can actually make your own trail mix. This one is uh, salted sunflower seeds, raisins, and chocolate, and you can put whatever in it, coconut shreds, raisins, um, dates, all that kind of stuff. What does this guy got? Oh, well, wow. uh, he's, he's an artist. Okay. How about you, sir? What do you have? Oh. Uh, yeah. I, I, he's probably going to get busted. <laughs> but, yeah, and if you have a hotel room, of course, and the hotel is attached to the uh, facility where the convention is, of course, you can stash your food up there. If you have a table or a booth, just bring it in with the rest of your stuff. Again, if you have a table, the con staff is a lot more likely to be cool about you bringing in food since again they don't want you to starve to death when you're supposed to be bringing in visitors with money to spend so uh on that subject of uh con visitors i i don't have a uh, i don't have my booth here they there was a uh, yeah i'll just anybody in here no nobody's in the larp room all right i'm just gonna um excuse me I'll just go over here and don't wave your food that you brought in around I, even if you are in a table or a booth it's kind of tacky let's see anything else there we go okay there we go I'm full easy as that so yeah anywho the reason why we are hitting up the testificate con here is next week I will be at the Houston con in guess where Houston Texas it's going to be at the Houston Hilton North over by Greens Point Mall. I will have a table there where I will be giving out little paper craft Sarah's and uh, otherwise plugging the channel. I will be doing, I believe I'll be doing a, a Let's Play is 101 panel on Saturday afternoon at some point. I don't know exactly when. I probably won't find out until closer to time, but hey. So if you are in the area from... August 8th through the 10th, come on out to Houston Con and say hi to me or to any of the various celebrities. Oh, oh, do you want a picture with me? Okay, there you go. <laughs> come on out, say hi to me, say hi to the various celebrities, the fan groups, the artists, the vendors, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you next time, folks. Bon appetit and have a good week. Bye-bye.